Let's start there. Node Red in production. Because I think this is a question most people have. Where does Node Red fit in Industry 4 architectures? Where does it fit as part of a much larger digital transformation initiative? Klaus, in your perspective, Oriel, in your perspective, you obviously believe Node Red is production ready. That is, it is it is robust enough to be a link in a very important technical supply chain within an organization. Tell me why. Yeah. Just, just let me answer with a fast question. Okay, worker. If in two years after saying deploy, you don't go back to that factory, uh, you don't have to do anything. You can say it is production ready in two years, just two years. Yeah. It's good enough? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay. This is the last success that they have with Node Red. The last, not the first. You know? And this is a production line for uh Mercedes Benz, for you know, the 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 yep. PCV that controls yep. the complete car. It's the QA line for that PCV. So it's not minor thing. In two years, I didn't receive a call until last week. What happened? They need a new database connection for tracing much more data. And what are you using Node Red for there? Is it is it data ops? Is it data ingestion transformation? Yeah. And is that what you're doing? Is that no, what you're let, let, primarily it, in that concrete case? Okay, not gener not generalization. Okay, in that concrete yep. case, we have a line completely controlled by S seven from Siemens. Okay, uh, so all the automations and the controls, it's that PLC. Okay, and then as you already said, Walker, shh, don't say this is open source. Just right. say this is a, an embedded PC. Right. We need an embedded PC for completing the project with the requirements that you launched. What was the requirements? Easy. SQL injection of the tracing data of all the tests that we do. Controlling uh, 3D vision cameras, okay? Controlling QR uh, code recorder with la laser. This is uh -huh. pronounced laser, yeah. Yep. And all some other small, uh, yeah, uh, 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 an, in an ink printer. And no yeah. one knows how to control that if they don't install Windows with a lot of drivers, with a lot of licenses, uh, with a visual basic uh, uh, code for controlling all that stuff. And they say, why? Can you do that for next Monday? It was Friday. Yeah. Of course, yes, I can. Well, but we don't have the drivers for Linux of all that stuff. It's just a regular ink printer. It's just a, a regular serial protocol for the... I mean, in just a weekend, with maybe 12 hours working during the weekend, it was enough for controlling the complete or for complementing the complete control of that S7 PLC with... Uh, <clears throat> with that stuff that it was impossible to do if they don't install Windows with Visual Basic stuff, with blah, 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 with a lot of proprietary stuff that no one knows how to maintain that. And for me, this is the key, the word maintain, maintenance. Yeah. I don't know, Klaus, if you agree with that. But uh, what I really love about Node Red, it is after two years, if I go back to the flow, in less than a minute, I know what I have to touch what I have to modify, how, I mean, the maintenance, it's intuitive. If you have code there, maybe you have 12 lines, maybe you have five lines, maybe 20 lines, but you don't have 200 lines because right. if you do that, you are not using no red. <laughs> okay. You are doing something wrong. That what I mean, it is for me, the value of no red is the maintenance. Then in general, uh, and just to be short, because Klaus has to give his version. Sorry, Klaus. Uh, <laughs> From my perspective, when it's easy to insert no red in production ready uh, projects is where there is no other things or no other cheap things that can do all that you know, the, all that you have to do for that project. For instance, uh, multiple device control, proprietary devices with no easy, I mean, you have the specification of the protocol, but there is no driver of that protocol because everything is proprietary, everything is, is locked. Right. And then to have that platform that you can control to the last bit, 
is your your flexibility, your dynamism, your creativity can explode, no? can be busting the project in, in a short period of time. Um, but if I have the chance to choose, not to fix, eh? this is another thing, okay? Choose. In my perspective, not red can be can be the um, how can I say the integration part that connects the field bus protocols with IT. Is that the I, is that the predominant use case for you, Oriol? Is that is is, is it's the shim? It's the let shim. Let me say 30, 40 percent of the cases. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, Cloud. not one hundred percent, huh? Cloud, Cloud. sorry. Uh, production ready. Your obviously your position is going to be. Yes, Node-RED is robust enough for production solution, production level solutions. But your There's argument also- in that case, because by the way, this, I mean, this is a common objection. You, you'll hear, you know, the common objection will be, yeah, Node-RED is great for POC. It's great for wire, wire framing. It's great for, you know, one-off use cases. Some Maybe I'm going to deploy an edge device. I'm going to acquire some data and then I'm going to remove that edge device. It's not going to stay there forever. But the the argument predominantly is can I, should I really be using it in production? So Klaus, your, your take there. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, it's really my point also. Um, I was really, I got this question over the last eight years a lot. Uh, so often people ask me, hey, can we go with production? And I said until version three, no, completely no. Um, that was my perspective. I every time said, it's just my perspective. If you try it, I know a lot of people like Lawrence, they, they are really successful. We saw some some projects like Open Wallbox, uh, which, which used our Modbus package <clears throat> to control uh, your car, um, electrical car charging uh, really well with this because it takes just a bit of data to collect them, to organize them, and that's it. Uh, but if I think on production, I also have some some more long term support in mind, and that means we need to be uh, backward compatible. We need some um, migration of existing flows, etc. Et and that was not existing until version three for me. Because if I took my very early flows from version one and put it to two, uh, everything was broken from right. it because it was string or number was whatever. So this was uh, one step where uh, uh, I also worked with this. I, I where I really can say the team, the core team of Node-RED was really great to go with that problems and to say, hey, we solved that really fast. Uh, we discussed um that's great also the community have to discuss with the core team does it make sense or doesn't it and it, uh, that makes a more high quality process over time than you have in every other software for me because where do you have the ability uh, to talk with a lot of people with real use cases if that makes sense or not and with version 3 we saw also it's backward compatible boom that was the last point what we missed and now from version three, I really can say, from my perspective, it's absolutely uh, production ready. Flowforge also brings the last step what we missed uh, of organizing. <laughs> no dread. Uh, I think we also talk about this later. Uh, but this was for me also a point which really, which really was pain. And I think also for a lot of people, they use that in mass uh, deployments or something like this. They have to find a way how to bring the flows on it, the settings, security, credentials. Uh, whatever. So, oh. yeah. I mean, the, here's the pro, here's the the real question that came up, which was, if if Node Red, I mean, this is a, a logical point. If Node Red is not production ready, then what's the purpose of Flowforge, right? <laughs> like, if if you're if if you're not going to use Node Red at scale, so you're going to deploy it at scale across an organization in production solutions then what's the point of Flowforge? This was totally the question that I asked myself. And and it was sort of this light bulb moment before I did that post. Because I'll be honest with you, my opinion of Node-RED has changed since I went down the rabbit hole, you know, in, you know, researching how Flowforge has evolved over the last, you know, how it's evolved over, say, the last 12 months. And, um, you know, my position today is that Node-RED is, in fact, production ready.